Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Virgo, April 30, 2023. Today's energies are strong for enjoying friendships, sharing, projects, and learning. You make more time for personal goals and causes and naturally draw success, warmth, and resources to you. This can be a good day for feeling that you are making progress in key areas of your life. You might be attracted to a new line of study or topic. Working with others cooperatively fares much better than competitive activities right now, but you are also very interested in growing and improving through your connections to people. Others more readily put their faith in you, and you return the favor, which can have a magical effect on relationships. So can consciously avoiding defensiveness. It can feel good to allow yourself to be a little vulnerable now. Sacred sexuality exists, and it is tied to the powerful asteroid known as Vesta. Vesta was named after the ancient Roman goddess of the hearth and the home. She is tied to the sacred inner flame that lives within us from the moment we are born to the moment we pass. This is a form of sacred sexuality we often sacrifice for, defend, and hold close to our innermost identity. As Vesta recently left behind the fiery skies of Aries and ventured into Taurus, this means we will all be more grounded and balanced in the pursuit of our desires. There might be some disagreements that arise today. For whatever reason, you are in the hot seat with your social media, aspirations, and professional community as the moon in Leo squares both Uranus in Taurus and Mercury retrograde in Taurus. A snippy comment may catch you by surprise, especially if it is coming from someone unexpected. Since these squares can be discombobulating, it would be better for you to detach from the situation instead of trying to defend yourself. You will have more control over it by taking a step back. It has been eight days since the sun returned to your financial sector and seven since Mercury turned retrograde here, long enough to become stable and settled. Knowing that things are set to become a lot more active on both sides of the financial fence next month, the final days of both this week and month are a chance to observe without the need to reinvent the wheel. With the present astral configuration, you are beginning to feel there is more to life than what other people want, do, and say. What you feel inside is the most important thing to notice and follow. How will you keep a hold of this awareness when the aspect changes? Make a note to self. How about committing to making your next month one of exemplary health habits? Prove to yourself that you call the shots. Your concentration will be heightened on this day. While focusing on what you have to do rarely poses a problem for you, 7. This vibration may be strong enough in this regard to give you tunnel vision. Be sure that you don't throw yourself so far into things that you can't see what is happening around you. You can miss out on important events and details when this occurs. Just take the time to look up every now and then. While a friendly aspect between the moon, as it passes through your friendship sector and Jupiter and the dwarf planet Eris in your relationship sector, is making this a good day for friendship and relationship building, this is also a taste of things to come. While Jupiter will be gone by the time Mars returns to your friendship sector next month Eris will still be there and what the moon is just touching on now will become one of the defining features of the coming month. It is your human connections that are set to become a lot more important. While a friendly aspect between the moon, as it passes through your friendship sector and Jupiter in your relationship sector has been a regular monthly event since the planet of change and revolution returned last year, it is also the last before he leaves. While the factors that make this a good day for friendship and relationship building aren't unique the timing is, while at the same time helping to cement something that will endure. Our eyes in the sky. Today is a day where emotions may be running high. It's important to recognize this and make a conscious effort to keep your feelings in check. Instead of reacting impulsively, take a step back and think about how you want to express yourself. One effective way to release frustrations is through journaling or engaging in a creative outlet that allows you to express your emotions in a healthy way. Alternatively, if you're feeling energized, consider channeling your energy into a competitive sport or physical activity. If there are any plans on your agenda for today, 
it's likely that discussions will turn out positively. Your ability to express your point of view in an enthusiastic and clear manner will be well received and understood by others. However, if you encounter any opposition, it's important to remain positive and aim for a win-win situation. Uniting with others to achieve a common goal should be the top priority. It's advisable to exercise caution when it comes to finances today. Make sure you maintain control of your affairs, especially your money. Spending money on things that won't bring you long-term pleasure is unwise. If you have some savings, consider investing them in a profitable venture. This will help you to secure your financial future and ensure that your money is working for you. Remember, it's essential to remain mindful of your emotions today and take steps to manage them effectively. By doing so, you'll be able to approach any challenges with a clear and level-headed mindset, increasing the likelihood of positive outcomes. Every month, a friendly alignment between the moon passing through your work sector and Jupiter in your income sector occurs since Jupiter's return last year. However, today's alignment carries greater significance as it occurs at a crucial time for both sectors. This is the last visit from Jupiter before it leaves, and the last before Mars enters your work sector. This creates anticipation and excitement on both fronts, with a lot of insight and potential for growth. Furthermore, the moon's visit to your intuitive and imaginative sector while the sun is in your financial sector is likely to boost your financial confidence, instincts, and imagination. Although the sun and moon may clash during an eclipsing full moon in your income sector next week, for now, they are in harmony, offering valuable insights and support to each other. However, be mindful of your interactions with others today. While you may be enthusiastic about expressing your point of view, it's important to avoid coming across as overbearing or egotistical. This can lead to negative differences emerging, causing harm to your relationships. Instead, strive for a more balanced and collaborative approach. When it comes to finances, be prepared for potential unpleasant experiences that could reveal your weaknesses. It's crucial to remain strong and learn from any mistakes or shortcomings. This will allow you to prepare for larger projects in the future. Avoid making any significant investments at the moment and focus on strengthening your financial position. Remember, by being mindful of your actions and decisions, you can set yourself up for long-term success.